The first thing I'd like to show you on the left-hand side is a new view. It is our cost database view. This is a live, always up view of your cost database. What I'd like to do is show you inside of just the cost database view, two new ways that we have to be able to add costs directly to your estimate. The first, and I'm just gonna navigate down, is that you can simply double click an item and that will automatically add that line item to your estimate. The second is the ability to, and you can do this with single or multiple select. So I can hit shift, for example, and select many. I can hit control and jump through and pick a couple other ones. And I can click and drag and drop those now into the estimate as well. So those are the two new ways directly from our new cost database view that we have to be able to add cost directly into our estimate. Uh, in this automatic pricing version, we've got two new views. One is the cost database view that you've seen me working with here. The next is going to be our cost information view, which you can see down here at the bottom of my screen. So this view enables us to be able to select items directly in the estimate and see them here. And from here, you have the ability to classify them. So if you've got some what we call sticky WBS properties, if you've got some specific classifications that you wanna add, for example, instead of being on the ground floor, maybe I'm working on the second floor now, I can pick that and then I can click add to estimate. And that adds the new item to the estimate. So you can see I now have a second floor item here. You also have the ability to select an item and modify before adding. So of course you can change its name uh, you can go through and change quantities. If you wanted to manually type out a quantity, you can make all your modifications here around pricing. So if I wanted to provide a dollar per unit, I can. If I wanted to associate this with a crew, I could do that as well. And then once I'm happy with that item, you can see the total cost is here. It works the same way as it always has. If I say I really that needs to be 20, just like before, it'll, it'll go back right into those prices and indicate what's been affected uh, by backing into that price. And then I can hit this button to the right here, which is add to estimate. Now, there are those of you who work in what we call a bulk add scenario. And now all you have to do is either select a folder, so I can hit concrete here, and then down in my cost information view, you'll see that it has automatically detected that I'm in a bulk add scenario. The reason why is because I have selected more than one cost item. I could refine that by going into concrete reinforcing, uh, or I can come into here and select multiple items. And as soon as I select multiple items, it also will put it in a bulk add scenario. So then once I'm happy with these line items and this is gonna make what I wanna bulk add, I can click add to estimate. And now I've just bulk added a ton of line items to my estimate. And just like in the past and previous versions of Estimator, the single add and the bulk add work for both line items and assemblies.